Dispute turned into a deadly shooting. Tonight at 5, we're learning new details after bullets flew near the busy Grove Entertainment District. It is a story we first brought you last night on News 4 at 10. Now investigators have identified the two adults killed and another hurt. The shooting happened just before 8 last night on Gibson Avenue at Tower Grove. That is blocks from Manchester. Russell Kitzall has heard from those who have expertise in de-escalating violent situations. He is live tonight in South City. Russell. Yeah, Corey, let me point out right now I'm standing on Gibson Avenue. The Tower Grove is right behind the camera. The shooting scene is only a few doors down, almost a half a block down that way. Uh, last night, police were quick to point out that this was not a random act of violence. That, that appears that this was a, a conflict that erupted in violence. And it's fair to ask the question, why does it seem like it's so often that disputes between people lead to gun violence? And what's being done to try to prevent that? It's real quiet, but then all of a sudden you're boom, boom, boom. Robert Hughes lives across the street and a few doors down from the shooting scene. Yeah, well, I heard him that woke me up. You know, like I say, I come to the front and I just seen police is just coming around the corner. And Neighbors were shocked that there was a deadly shooting on Gibson Avenue. Police say 45 year old Stephen Bowden, who lived on Gibson, was killed along with 46 year old Tonette Brown. Police say it was not a random act of violence, so it's likely to have been a conflict that escalated in violence. I wanted to know why so many disputes in this way. Well, if you're constantly seeing escalated violence around you, right, right then, then that's how you start to respond. Jason Watson is senior vice president of engagement at Mission St. Louis. Right. Kenny Petty is director of community engagement. We're trying to bring alternative, alternative mindset on what life can be. The organization provides education, workforce development, and teaches conflict resolution skills. They say so often situations escalate to violence because people act impulsively, conditioned by what they've grown up seeing around them and the stress it brings. When you're always on heightened alert, you are, not only do you not know who the, what the under, other individual is going to do to you, you also don't have a balance on what it looks like to take something to a certain level. Mission St. Louis provides training that helps people who've developed layers of trauma through their lifetime that could lead to violent eruptions. You see abuse in childhood, never resolved, never dealt with. This is just how it is. You grow older, then there are situations, then there are other situations. Then an individual comes and triggers everything that has happened in your past. And you explode on that individual. We want to like, how did that end? What, what happened? So I did speak with the relatives of both the victims who were killed. They did not want to be interviewed on camera, but it was a relative who told me that Tonette Brown's 21 year old daughter drove Brown and the other victim, Stephen Bowden, drove both of those victims to the hospital in an effort to try to save their lives. Live in South St. Louis, Russell Kinsaw, News 4. Russell Kinsaw, thank you for that update. Now to